A hyacinth orchid grows in the summertime at Coriander Cottage. This fascinating plant is lovely to behold, but still has a very secret of life. Have you wondered why we put the wire protection rings seemingly at random around Coriander Cottage during the summer months? Well, they currently provide protection for our precious orchids from being eaten by kangaroos, rabbits and other animals who find these plants great sustenance during the driest summer months. The hyacinth orchid, or Dipodium punctatum, emerge from the ground about mid-spring to mid-January. As they emerge through the ground they resemble asparagus spears, and grow up to 400 mm out of the ground before they develop a head of white through to pink flowers, resembling the European hyacinth. Thus a little like the platypus early European botanists could be forgiven for thinking this was an amalgam of European plants blended together as a hoax. These plants have no leaves at all, they do not photosynthesize, but they are not parasites. They live off a fungus that grows on the stringy bark tree. This makes them very vulnerable to survive. If the trees are cleared, they die. If the land is grazed, they die. Any disturbance to their habitat, they will not survive. They rely on a symbiotic relationship with their environment. They depend on a tiny niche in the environment to survive. It is certain that they will only grow in the root zone of the stringy bark. But that is not all, there are still even more things we do not even know about this plant. During the flowering season at each of the leaf nodes on the stem stands a solitary ant. Apparently standing guard, presumably being fed a secretion to keep them there, to protect the plant, against what? What is in it for the plant, and what is in it for the ant? Why only one? This is one of the questions we are trying to answer at Coriander. The hyacinth orchid grows from a bulb called a tuber under the ground. Each year we know the plant should emerge somewhere near last year's. But does it come up in exactly the same spot from the same bulb? If so how many years can it return from a single bulb? Do they emerge from a radial bulb that has multiplied from the original, or do they replace different tubas every couple of years nearby? As the stems grow through for a new plant, some are noticeably red in color, while others are very green. Why the different colored stems? Is it growing from a tuber, or is the growing from seed for the first time? And, for that matter why is the color of the flower so variable? Is it different pollinators at different times during the season? Is it the soil difference at different locations? Is it the different age of the plant? We are hoping to find answers to some of these questions. As plants now emerge at Coriander we place a guard around them and record the GPS location and any comments about color, time of emergence etc. We are hoping to find more information and theories to examine over the next few years. For now though, let us just relax and appreciate the mystery and the beauty of these spectacular orchids that survive during the harshest time of the year through heat waves droughts, bushfires and La Nina tropical summers. It is these plants that allow us to claim there is an orchid growing every month at Coriander Cottage, Wilunga Hill.